bonjour from Disneyland Paris. We're country hopping. Yesterday we drove about eight hours from Edelweiss up to Disneyland Paris. We are staying at the Village's Nature Resort. Um, it was dark last night when we got in at about 8.30, so I'm interested to uh, go down there and, and see what it looks like. It's pretty cold this morning. It's like 40 degrees, but not terrible. No snow like Germany. I'd like to say that we've started off with a magical beginning here, but it hasn't been so much. <laughs> like I said, we got in at about 8.30 last night, so it was dark. This resort is a little confusing to navigate, especially in the dark. There's not great lighting, so we had a bit of trouble figuring out where to park and then how to get to our room. These rooms are visually stunning. They're great like to look at. Um, as you can see, I'm out here on our private balcony. We've got a couple lounge chairs, a table, some other little chairs. There's a stand here for an umbrella, which is in the room. Um, this really fun little swing chair here. And we have this really, really nice view of the pond or lake, whatever you want to call it, the water behind us. It's really pretty, um, but we've had some issues with things in the room. My hair is still wet. As you can see because we've it's just it's taken a long time to get ready this morning I took a shower and it flooded I, I don't know why it was built this way I'll show you in a second but it's basically a jacuzzi tub with a shower right next to it and then it's a like a step down to like where the sink is so all of the water from the shower spilled out into the floor where the sink is and then kept going out into the living room area so we used up all of our towels to sop up the water. I don't think it's gonna be fixed. I, I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that. I might just be washing my hair in a jacuzzi. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Anyways, I'm excited to be here. Um, I've also got my mom, my brother, and my grandma staying with us. So another challenging part in all of this was mobility. My grandma is 79 years old. It's harder for her to go up and down steps. And when we got here last night in the dark, after having all those issues trying to find our room, we finally got to ours, and then we were supposed to meet somebody here at our room so that they could help us unlock our second room where she was staying. I don't know if there was a communication error, but nobody was meeting us here. We waited for an hour and a half for somebody to finally help us get into that room. And then we had to get our luggage from the vehicle. So we had to go back to the vehicle and get all of our suitcases and then bring them back to our room. And the elevator was not working. So all of the luggage had to be dragged up several flights of stairs. And I'm not just talking about 10 steps. I'll show you a little bit later in this video how many steps there are, but I don't know how, like if you have a wheelchair, if you are 79 years old, if you have any kind of like body ailments, like I don't know how this is possible for those people to go up and down multiple times a day if that elevator isn't working. Like I said, not the most magical beginning for a Disney resort, but I hope it gets better. I'll also say it is kind of nice to wake up and have all of the sounds of nature. I think I hear Tim and Story now. Let's see if we can see him. Story! There they are. <laughs> Hi! Hi, honey! <laughs> You're jumping in the rain puddle. <laughs> Looks like he got me some coffee. Anyways, let's go inside real quick and I'll show you some of the things I was talking about. And again, we checked in late last night, didn't have a ton of time to put things away, so excuse the mess and personal items. I'm not gonna give you a complete room tour, but I'll just kind of show you like some of the things we were talking about. So like I said, visually stunning. It's really pretty. It's very modern, very European. So it's really unfortunate that we had to experience this. So as I was saying, the shower is right here. It's a, a combo with the jacuzzi tub. And there's this ledge here. And all of the water just spilled out here. So we had to use up all of our towels to sop it up. And it even came out this far to the rug. So the rug is still wet. So we're probably gonna have to put a fan over here while we leave for the day. I don't know what we're gonna do. Of course, we're gonna let them know and everything. What did you get me? This. 
Did you get that for me or for you? Uh-oh. Um, um, me. You got it for you? Are they pancakes? Yeah, I, yeah. And what did you get me? Um, this. This. I don't know what this is. Do you? No. Are you going to try it with me? Yeah. Looks like some kind of vegetable mayonnaise medley. What's in there? Is it oranges? Oh. Pick them up. You want some? Yum. What else did you get? Ooh, what's this? Oh, these are apples. An apple. Yum. We love apples. We got these. And that. some grapes. Mmm. What's this? Well, that looks good. Oh, now wait a minute. We gotta have breakfast first, you goof. Let's go have breakfast. So here's our room. We walked out the front door and we come down this path and around the corner over here. Come on, Story. Let's go. Well, around, here's our out of service elevator. Did we try it this morning? Yeah, okay. Doesn't work. So we have to go down here. And then we walk around the corner over here. Try in the elevator, no good. So we come back around this way. And here is mom, grandma, and brother Blake's room. Hello! Knock, knock! All right, family's out. Now we get to go down another couple flights of stairs. service elevator. And then we have to go down all of these steps. So it is a lot of steps. We do have this La Boutique here. I don't think it's Disney stuff, but just a few little toys, clothes, sports balls. And then right next to that little store is Vapiano, Vapiano. Not sure how to say it, but it looks like a fun little restaurant. Let's see, what do they have? Mmm, those look pretty good. We might have to check this out later. And then right after that is this Fran Prix, if I'm saying that right. Basically a grocery store. They have some produce, that's where we got stories, grapes, bananas, oranges, and then a few packaged like pantry items. Looks like they even have grocery carts, little baskets over here. They have all kinds of stuff. All kinds of yummy goodies. Got some nuts, some chocolates, some breadsticks, olives, all kinds of spreads. Magazines, all the hairy bows. Ooh, Story loves these. I might have to get her these if she sees it. Cookies, biscuits, baby food, paper towels. Looks like some plastic baggies, some paper bags, dish soap, dish towels. All kinds of cleaning supplies, cat and dog food. Okay. Feminine hygiene, body wash, toothpaste, I mean toothbrushes, everything. Chips, juice, more chips. <laughs> A dancing American man. <laughs> Frozen pizzas. Mozzarella sticks. With our picky palates, we might be coming here for some lunches and dinners. Depends what we can find at Disney. We got ice cream, butter, yogurt, meat. It's a full on grocery store. Yep. Lunch meats, cheeses, eggs, wine. 
Some quick little grab and go sandwiches. Pastrami, bagels, wraps. Something with mayonnaise. I believe pullet is chicken, oh, is, it? is cheese, and mayonnaise is mayonnaise. Hi, honey. What are you doing? What'd you find over here? Ice cream? Ooh, there's the macarons. Yeah. Ice creams. Look in here. Holy fruits. You got some blackberries and raspberries. Want an M&M's advent calendar? Hi. <laughs> Are these for you? No, they're for decoration, right? We do have a small fireplace in the room and you can come down here and get wood. I don't think we're going to do that because we're only going to be here a couple days, but I think that's pretty nice to be able to do it. And then they even have these microwaves in here. So if you find, like my brother's getting a hot dog and so he's going to heat it up. Kind of handy to have that. Okay, we're done in there. It's actually right next to the Welcome House. And they've got all kinds of pamphlets and other information on things you can do, I think, around Paris. So if you wanted to do like an Eiffel Tower tour or anything like that, you can get your information right there. Now we have to go and try to find the truck. <laughs> And I don't have a clue where it is because it was dark when we parked it last night. So if you can see way over there is the Fran Prix where we just came out of. And we had to walk down this way through the middle of this, I guess it's like a golf cart slash bicycle parking lot. But you go through here. Here's more of the apartments over here. Um, but if you turn this way, this is where all of the parking is. Thank you. 